time is running out for former President Trump to come up with the $464 million bond he needs to pay in connection with his civil fraud case. If he doesn't, will he declare bankruptcy or sell prime real estate? As Stephen Fabian reports, Trump critics are reveling in the thought of seeing chains on Trump Tower. Donald Trump is running out of time. If he can't come up with $464 million by Monday, he could be locked out of Trump Tower and his foes are gloating. I can't wait to see the chains on Trump Tower. The late night talk show hosts are also piling on. Of course, the real loser here is Melania. She may end up with half of the nothing he owns now. Trump's attorney, Alina Haba, is firing back. And I think that people to say disgusting things like that on national television mm -hmm. and not care about the people that work there, not to care about the jobs that they create is, is a really sad state of affairs. Today, Trump's campaign sent out a fundraising email. Keep your filthy hands off of Trump Tower. While Trump's Manhattan properties are getting all the attention, we're learning that his estate and golf course in Westchester are also targeted for potential seizure. One option open to Trump, bankruptcy. Could Donald Trump declare bankruptcy by Monday? But the Washington Post says it's an option he doesn't want to take and would rather have state authorities show up with the sheriff than say he's bankrupt. All this drama comes as Trump's youngest son, the six foot seven Baron, turns 18. And there's uproar after a former TV exec posted this on social media. Baron Trump turns 18 today. He's fair game now. Some Trump allies took it as a creepy threat. Leave him alone. It's Absolutely. not okay. It's not acceptable. It's really, really gross. A new Stormy Daniels documentary also debuted this week on Peacock. In it, she shares the disturbing threats she's received. You're nothing but a fat hillbilly. Trump would never touch you. Kill yourself. I've had people text me. Yeah. from their actual phone number. Yeah. And I'm just like, of course you're a Trump supporter because you're not even good at being bad. She's set to testify in Trump's hush money trial next month. I relish the day that I get to face him and, and speak my truth.